Oh, guess what I'm doing. Wednesday afternoon, about 1.22. And I'm gonna join my buddy J-Mo down here and see if we can't get an afternoon bite with some white bass. I don't know how many J-Mo's caught by now, but he was here this morning and he only caught two or three. So this is tough. The fish are in here, but they're not in any kind of mood to bite. At least that haven't been. Uh oh, we got somebody coming. Pull off here. Let's get at it, man. One of my favorite places. Figure out where the fish are. It's gray, but it has a chartreuse seam in it, and it's fairly big. I started small. I'm getting bumps of little teeny tiny sunfish, I think. These fish are going to be in here somewhere. Hoping there's an afternoon bite. Down and crossed. And we'll do this for a little while. Peaceful. Got one, picked it up. Bye -bye. Yeah, I think so. I ain't seen it yet. It's good sized fish. Kind of fighting like a carp. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, buddy. That made the trip worth it, right there. Yeah, that's a white bass. Big one. Nice fish. Nice white bass, look at that. First one of the season on the fly. Wow, Jamo, that's a big old fatty. Yeah, that's a male, all right. Squeeze the milk right out of him. Dang, man, that's a big one. Big old fat fish. All right, well, goodbye. Thanks for coming. First fish. All right. Like that one. That's a beautiful fly. Look what it does. My beautiful fly. Let's see what it does. fish. That's better than none fish. Jamo caught another one over there. They're in here. They're just far and few between and they're no mood to bite. But I'm going to try a couple other tricks downstream a little bit. Well, it's a couple, three hours later. One fish. <laughs> no bites. Other than little sunfish pecks. I went downstream fished till about four o'clock and then decided Jamo headed home. He'd been fishing all day. Caught six fish all day. I'm hoping that things get a little better as it gets dark. I'm gonna fish this long stretch. Hopefully all of it from in the water. I don't think it's very deep anywhere in here. Bottom's kind of irregular. But what a day. Well, it's probably 82, 83 degrees today. 
Feels like it's 78 or so now. It's warm. Wind's not blowing, it's calm. This is extremely weird weather. 29th of December, what the hell? It's all right, first of the year there's a cool front coming, it's gonna get cold. Cold, 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 cold for us. Throwing two flies, trying to figure out if something weird will work. Something besides the standard clouser. I'm using a black and white clouser. And I'm basically just going down and across, down and across. Looking for some fish. One thing is for sure, this is about as peaceful as it gets. We'll see if I can make it happen. Basically, I let it swing. I scrutinize the current very, very, very much. You can see where the current comes out and goes along that edge. There'll be an eddy behind it, and that might be where they're holding. This, this is an unusual time of the year to be doing this. It's early. It's been so warm. These fish are confused. That's the best way I can put it. I know I'm confused. My body doesn't know what to think of this. I'm going to give this a pretty good workout. Then I'm going to go back and put two very typical clousers on. See if there's something come off that bank over there. Boom. I didn't get a very good cast. JMO caught two right up here. He caught two while I caught one. Well, I caught a good one though. That fish made the trip almost completely worth it. Guarantee that's way better than getting skunked. Especially because I'm using a fly rod. You know, if I really, really wanted to catch fish, I'd get in my kayak and I'd be using jigs and I'd be fishing for crappie. doing when I caught the first one basically I cast it way out there swung through the current and then when it got about mid stream that's where it picked it up it was just kind of there it didn't slam it they're definitely not very aggressive not very aggressive at all This just happens to, oh, I see some movement down there. This just happens to be a very nice stretch to do fly fishing in. I got plenty of clearance up behind me. Up around me, the canopy's up out of the way. We'll try to cast too far and it'll be fine. But down and across. See if I can't catch a fish. Figure I'll fish until about, oh, I don't know, fish until dark, I guess. I'm headed back toward the truck going this way. Come on, fishies. Come to Papa. Now this, this is real fly fishing here. This is what we live for this time of year. those fish right on that bank over there. They put it right on their head. Oh, come on now. That was a sorry cast. Boom, right there. That's where they were sitting. I don't know what that was. 
I'm a little fish. Oh, something picked it up. I had something bump it. See, there's some more fish right there. You can see them right along that edge. See that activity right there? I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's a little bitty fish. I'm sure that's shad. And I just had another bump. Boom, that was right under the head. Might need to change that lower fly to a smaller clouser. Typical pattern. I got a hair bug on there now. Little fur bug, muddler type. That's what that is. That's shad. Oh, that's good to see. If there's shad, there'll be white bass in here at some point. Let me make that one change, one adjustment. The second fly needs to be a small clouser. Pretty standard looking fly, I think. I'll put the one on that I caught that first fish on. It's on my hat, so it shouldn't take me too long to change it. See, that's a fake fur muddler type. That's just a straight up clouser. Bead head clouser. Where's that? Let me see. That was J Mo. Wanting to know if I'd caught a limit yet. <laughs> hey, he's a funny guy. <laughs> but I think I'm on the right track now. I can't tell you how many times I've been on one of these creeks back here at about the four o'clock hour and the fish just go nuts. They really start biting. Hopefully that'll be today. See how that bank cuts back there? That should be a primo spot. That shouldn't be primo. This old bank should be good. Probably gonna be getting it in that spot. I'll work my way around this crap. It's a nice place to have to myself. Even if the fish aren't going to cooperate. It takes all kinds of creative casting in the environment like this. There we go. That was a good one. off pretty good right there. Probably makes that a good spot to be hit from a distance. Yeah, there's some fish playing in that spot over there. I wonder how much trouble I'm going to have getting through here. No problem at all. That was not a problem at all. I hope I can stay in the creek all the way down to where I was fishing. When the fish are actively spawning, they're all over this place. But we're <laughs> two months away from that, should be. Catching mostly males. I've heard of some folks catching the 
early arrival females, but that is unusual. They don't come up until their eggs are ready. That's usually around the spring break time frame, late February, March. And if this, if this creek's in this condition by then, oh my God, it's going to be a heck of a year. This is going to be a heck of a year. The water really does have good color to it. This is a neat place. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Not tremendously long with a fly rod. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this until after I had my kayak, so after year 2000. I don't recall fishing for white bass much um, with a fly rod prior to moving back to Bryan in 1997 and then really much prior to fishing them here in the creek I started fly fishing because of sunfish and the trout in the Guadalupe River well, that's what everybody did Well, that used to be really cool, kind of passe now. I still like to do it once in a while. I like, I like to fish for those trout in the fall before they start stocking again for the year. That way you're, you're fishing for trout that have been in that river for a long enough period of time to act more like wild fish. Hard to catch, real challenge. Well, it's been several years since I've done that. Just haven't taken the time to go down there. A friend of mine wants to go real bad, but he's got nerve and neck problems now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it back or not. I don't know. You know, everybody's days are numbered. Can't do this forever. I should pick up a fish in here. Roll cast it in there. Boat bugs. Well, let's get back on track here. This seems to have a little bit of depth to it. I wonder if it does drop off out here. No, nope, doesn't appear to. But it is muddy, muddy, muddy. Lures are going to have lots of lures. Uh, trees are going to have lots of lures on them. like Christmas decorations. Weird, not another person out here. I guess they all went downstream copy fishing. Oh, fish, where are you? This is pretty much what I wanted to do when I was thinking about coming here. I wanted to hit this stretch just like this. See if I can't find a hole. It's full of bass. A little bit strange this year how there's no black bass. This thing is usually full of black bass. There doesn't seem to be any in here. I don't know what that's about. Something moving some water over there. Sometimes right in front. 
of structure like that stump right there there'll be a hole and there'd be fish holding in that thing like mad maybe it's on the other side boom right there hmm It was good to see those shad working that far bank over there. There wasn't very many of them, but they were working it like they were spawning. That just tells you how warm the water is. Uh, we're fixing to go into a big chill. Mosquitoes just started buzzing me. That's great. relatively deep cut. Maybe they're hanging right in here. Come on fish. Come get my fly. Ha ha! I caught one another one. Number two is a much smaller one. Took the top fly. Alright. That worked. What I did is I put it I put it right out in front of that log. You can see that log that runs out there. I put it on that bank and as it swung through he nailed it. So maybe that won't be the only fish. I would have showed you the release, but hey, that fish had other ideas. Alright, let's get my fly straightened out. And they're nice and straight now. And let's see if we can replicate that. I just put it, dropped it right in there like this. And as it swung down and across, they shot it, they hit it. And I'm thinking that all the way across there, this is possible. Maybe. Let's see if I can't get you a little straightened out there. How's that? That's straight? Yeah, that's good. We're going to try again. That ling slipping, a little old roll cast right into the sweet spot. Honestly, that's what we expect to find up here is little males. Oop, there's a bump. Trying to stay out of the logs, but I think that it has an effect on the current the fish like. A little faster retrieve, see if there's another one. This is tough fishing, man. Tough. Not a lot of fish, and they're pretty dang particular. Just about got to put it in the mouth. Bet I wouldn't have had near the trouble catching crappie today. Oh, I see some fish moving down there. This would be really good with a... Oh, there's another one. Hey, hey, hey. We got something going. And that one picked it up right in front of me. Hallelujah, man. Two fish in just a couple minutes. There we go. Another little male. Look at that. We are making some progress. Nice little fishy fish. Mm -hmm. Three fish in a day is not a fluke. They are right in this pool right in front of me. All right, let's see. See if there's a third one in here. I kind of thought, I hoped they would start biting. Especially when the light levels started dropping. They don't get so spooky when that light level drops. They can't scrutinize your bait and your fly so much. They just, they start going on reflex. Definitely having to work for them, but they're in here. I 
I should be able to do it again right below this thing. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? cast going right in front of this thing. Let that current run it. Ooh, fish. Should be some behind it too. Just have to work it all real slow and thorough. Uh, definitely looking up. Boom, chuck a look off. That sink. Well, this is skinny water. That's not but two or three feet deep. All right, there's a big one. Oh, I think I broke off. I did. Oh crap! That was a big fish. Dang it! I caught him off that other side. That's all right. I got more. I got more flies. Yeah, that did. That busted me off. The darn line's been beat to hell. It's only four pound test. All right, clouds are number four or five today. <laughs> of course, I just lost two in a row. Two flies at once, because I was using two flies at once. That was a big one. That was one of those big males. Do it again, fish. Do it again. I double dog there. Give me my fly back. Pushing this four pound test line too much. Matter of fact, I should have gone ahead and spent the time to put another. That's all I did last time. Boy, I dropped it right on that shore and boom, he was on it. I can see a log in there. He almost got me around that log. That might have been what happened. He may have caught that second fly on that log. Sure busted easy. That was a good one though, that's like that first one. I heard some fish. Yep. It's always great when a prediction comes true. I had hoped to find fish like this. Anything hanging right in front of that log pile. Oh, dang it, that was a big fish. Fought like a big one, too. I saw him, he turned a couple times. Broadside, and I saw him. He's a good one. But this clouser should be a good choice. Fancy one. That's as close as I can get to Jamos. That's for close. That was definitely worth doing. The weather. I mean, honestly, weather like this in late December. It's unusual, but it is nice. It is so nice. Such a wonderful day. Got here about 2 o'clock, I think. It's after 5 now. Oh, and time to go home. Wonderful. What a day. That was definitely worth doing. The creek conditions are just about perfect to do what I like to do, which is fly fish wade wade out in the water and fly fish i found a couple of flies that worked i had some success right off the bat and then had to work for the last three but the last three were the best ones and they came in quick succession so i kind of figured that there'd be a little bit of action right before it got dark and it held true. Also, seeing those shad tells me that that's a, that's a very good thing. 
uh, if the shad will move up in the creek, then then it, it really helps a lot. The, the fish will start keying in on shad because if the shad aren't there, there's not much else in a creek. A creek that size, when it gets inundated with the white bass, man, they'll strip it clean. They will literally strip it clean. clean. There won't be anything left. But that's when they take lures really well. All right, well, folks, that's, uh, thanks for joining me on another adventure, and thanks for watching. Y'all be good, and maybe next time we'll catch a lot of fish. It's probably going to be a couple weeks, so this cool front coming in is going to put a damper on things. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be wet. But if it continues like it is, um, we're going to have a very, very productive white bass run this this year, this spring. It's it's not exploding at the moment, but and this is early to see the the fish up this far this far up the creek. Uh, they don't normally move out of the staging areas that quickly but and I think they'll probably go back in back downstream to the staging areas the deeper holes as that water chills and the days cloud up but they'll be back and the next time they come up it'll be in force if things are normal whatever that is all right thanks for watching y'all be good Come back later, we'll do it again, and maybe next time we'll catch more fish.